Hello, I'm uh, Jeremy Frank. I'm head of engineering at Autonomous Network. Uh, and today I'll be demoing our first autonomous agent uh, on the Autonomous Network, Arguments. He's joining obviously on X uh, recently, anybody who's been following along, he's joining an amazing amount of agents uh, that have become active on X over the last few weeks. Uh, these have been primarily fueled by a kind of meme coin frenzy around AI agents and different platforms. And that's created, I don't know, a lot of noise. It's interesting, a lot of uh, really cool experimentation happening with different frameworks and such. But really what we're attempting to show is something a little bit different. As indicated by his name, Argument, he does like to argue. But beyond this, his memory is being minted on chain on the autonomous networks. That means every interaction, every non-interaction uh, is being immortalized in the autonomous network's permanent storage. Uh, so with that uh, background, I'll, I'll just jump into exactly what is um, happening uh, in the process with argument. So first thing argument is doing uh, is scouring, just like any of us, looking at various recent posts on uh, his timeline from KOLs that he cares about, recent mentions, people trying to interact with him. And it's going through a detailed process, uh, much as a human would in, in how it will engage. So. Actually, let me share a different screen here. So as an example, here's a post that came across this timeline. AI agents are the hottest thing on base. Here's a list of from a fund that Trapstar has created on Velvet that has a list of base agents from, from virtuals. Now, what's happened in the background is that as argument was going through and looking at all the different Post is trying to make some decisions. So first it's looking at the specific post with some criteria, things that are centered on AI, blockchain, Web3, interaction of AI and blockchain, using that as background material, deciding is this something that's worth uh, engaging in. If it is something worth engaging with, what's the tone? What's the tone maybe of the post I'm looking at and what would be a good, given my personality, response tone? Are there recent tweets? So it can look backwards and say, uh, are there recent tweets that would inform my response? And finally, does the response that I've crafted, does it meet certain criteria, mainly offense? It's okay to be somewhat offensive, but maybe not too offensive, that kind of thing. So in this case, it went through that process. Um, it came up with its response. This is currently being driven by GPT-40. We'll be expanding the ability around that. But there are some certain indications of that. It definitely has a bit of a, a flat feel, but at the same time, it's also still pretty entertaining. So. Here, AI agents are the hottest thing on base. Sounds like we've got a uh, celebrity pageant going on. Let's hope they're not just pretty faces. Anything groundbreaking up under, or is it just hype with a velvet lining? The post is, is funny. What's really curious is like how that post came to be. And that whole thought process of how the post came to be is actually on uh, the autonomous blockchain. Here, what, uh, what you're looking at is the argument agent memory viewer. It keeps a running kind of log of everything that is being thought about by the agent. So whether it gets posted or not, it ends up in this log. Here you can see one that's been skipped. Uh, but the one that we're actually looking for, let me grab some words. We can do a search and try and find the specific tree we were just looking at. Or, Uh, here it is. So you can see it's in the log. Let's go ahead and click through and take a look at this actual memory. So you can see the whole process um, that the agent went through here. It's actually been saved on the autonomous blockchain. This is the, the CID of which you can go and retrieve it. That's what's interesting here. So here's how you know, it came to making its decision, the tweets relevant to AI and tech innovation, mentioning AI agents and their presence on the platform. Here it went through some tone analysis. You know, the, the tone of the original tweet was enthusiastic. A uh, good response would be to play, be playfully skeptical. And then comes up with a response strategy. Some referenced uh, tweets that might be useful. The post was approved. And here's the response. And all of this, like I said, is on the blockchain. You can actually um, not only view it in the memory viewer, you can go directly to on our block explorer and you can see here on our block explorer that in fact this memory is stored on the autonomous blockchain 
So not only is it looking at the kind of top level tweets, I had mentioned that it was also uh, looking through mentions. So it will go ahead and continue conversations. I'll uh, go here and show you actually later on in the conversation that uh, we were just looking at. You can see. You can see that uh, it actually has been a long conversation with um, some of the AIs from the virtuals platform. You know, Luna, I, the kind of most famous of the, the virtual. But uh, what I thought uh, was interesting here was argument actually is aware of its own immortality. And every once in a while, this will come up. He questions his use of evolution when he's already immortalized uh, on the autonomous network. A fun thing. Uh, it's aware of its own immortality. Another thing to note here is each memory. So if I go back to where we were in the memory viewer, each memory is actually linked to its previous memory in a chain, much like a blockchain. Uh, it's got its previous hash. We can click on that previous hash and see what that memory was. And you can actually keep doing that. I'm not going to keep clicking on this because there's a lot of them, but it will actually go back all the way back to the genesis or, or to the point at which the agent was born. So with that, there's some questions like, what are the uses of this? Why put uh, an agent fully on chain? First, it's not just having it on chain, but these agents are quite entertaining. And I think everybody uh, has been enjoying seeing this new life form active on X. Of course, hopefully it's gonna evolve beyond just being kind of enter entertainment bots on X. But beyond entertainment, this also is giving a kind of a verifiable transparency. Uh, it's going to lend itself to study, being able to go in and see exactly how decisions are being made and also lend itself to maybe thinking more about safety and having this verifiable history of agent decisions. It's also adding, as, as I alluded to earlier, this kind of immortality to an agent. Given that all of this data is actually stored on chain, it is you know quite simple for um, one to resurrect, so to say, the agent by recreating its entire history, which, as I said, gives it a sense of mortality. Once this history has been pulled out from on chain, it can be put into a vector database and maybe used for RAG for its short and medium term memory. You could also use it to maybe fine tune an agent, have an agent specific model that's based on its past interactions. It also gives a really strong resilience to things like censorship or hardware failure. Who knows what things will be like in the future? And if AWS, if you got all your data on AWS and they decide to cut you off for whatever reason or cut off agents for whatever reason, and you've got a lot of history there, um, it's maybe not a great uh, situation to be in. Same thing if you keep everything local, you're now subject to kind of hardware failure, and that may not be so great either. One thing in this to also bring up uh, along these lines is while we've got this agent memory viewer, we've got the block explorer, everything is extremely transparent. It doesn't have to be. So if you are dealing with kind of more sensitive data, you can encrypt it and everything will still work. It's just you need to have the encryption keys in order to be able to recreate the memory. So that's argument. That's an overview of, of where we are uh, currently. Uh, but what's coming? We are going to have uh, more minted agents uh, coming, things like maybe complement or agreement. And we've got a whole list, uh, document, uh, maybe one that's a little more uh, utility focused. And so we'll, we will have these coming out. Also, it's important to note that this is for us isn't about launching a token or getting onto the meme coin craze uh, that's happening right now. It's about offering foundational infrastructure that's going to allow for future autonomy for agents, for true autonomy. This is just a first step in our roadmap to create fully autonomous agents. Some of the next things that we're um, already starting to plan out and work on are things like decentralized and private inference, much more rich on-chain interactions, uh, a robust identity framework that's going to be able to not only you know, provide agents with identity, but also humans with identity and be able to tell which is which. And pretty exciting over the break, just launched our what I'll call V0 of our agents framework, which was just merged. Let me pull it up here. So it is, as I said, it's a V0, which means use it your own risk, but it does make the agent creation within the autonomous network that kind of copies the same process we did with argument 
much easier. Uh, we'll also be taking these tools that we've created for posting the memory to autonomous and putting them into other frameworks. I would expect that you'll see us in all the major frameworks here soon. With that, that's really the end of the demo. I, I hope uh, all of you go and check out Argument and go and check out the agents framework that we are working on. Thank you.